Boy, it is an absolute spectacular day in Nashville, Tennessee. Sunny and 70 today, and there's Mama Duck. She's still sitting over there, a little she-she sitting on those eggs. Boy, she sure is persistent. Someone told me uh, incubation period is about 28 days for duck eggs, so we'll see, but she just she hangs in there like a hair on a cheese sandwich, so let's go see what the garden has to say out here. I know Mama's roses are starting to pop open. This is going to be incredible in a little while because there is bud after bud after bud after bud on here. And a few of them started early. There's a few roses kicking out that and one kind of hiding down in there too, trying to hide herself. Some that are almost getting ready to open up, but the majority of them all open up at one time. And look at them. I mean, there's clusters of these just getting ready to do their thing. So, may even be this afternoon. And uh, she'll be tickled about that. Look at all the blooms on here. I showed you the other day how all these bloom and they, you know, here's the thing is, these are blackberries. There's four big huge blackberry bushes in here that uh, uh, are thornless and when they bloom, boy, they, you, they only bloom for like two or three days and then the blooms are gone. And then in the middle of that, looks like a little blackberry trying to start its thing in there so but look at the tons and tons of blooms on all these and lots of them that haven't even came out yet on all of these branches so but let's do a little garden update here I bought a <clears throat> I gotta get a couple of grow bags today if I can I bought a couple thornless I don't do nothing but thornless anymore I'm tired of dealing with that uh, raspberries red raspberries I'm getting ready to plant them and stake them up a little better so because I got a couple branches kind of hanging down here and uh, the blueberries Lord 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 they are loading up here see if I can keep them falling over on my face the blueberries are just loading up I can't wait for them to puff up nice and big and here's the two plants here that were bad the other day. I told you I had two plants that were bad. I completely threw all the dirt out in case there was disease in there and I actually washed the bags out and then loaded them up with new plants and boy they have taken off like crazy. So you know if you got a good supplier that you're getting good plants from stay with them. I, I just picked up a couple to fill in at a roadside deal. Now, I don't know if they sprayed them with something or what but they just turned yellow and kind of croaked on me and uh, I notice over here in my rhubarb that there's still a thorned raspberry from last year I got rid of all of them but he's trying to sneak up through there I'll have to get down there and cut him off and uh, the tomato plants look at here remember when I was talking about them little tomato plants I just planted about I don't know I guess about 10 days ago now at being making it to that bottom ring well now they're up passing the second ring so they're going like crazy the blooms are coming out fantastic my uh, cucumbers are doing good back here and check out the check out the pepper plants over there them three are turning into trees they are really coming up nice mama loves those yellow banana peppers so I put in two more one here and one over there then the rest of these are cucumbers so we like to jar a few of them and ooh, I see a little vine coming out here already trying to find something to grab a hold of so it can start climbing I might have to build some sort of a little trestle I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer when it comes to that and so I have to figure it out but oh man look at these tomato plants over here are going great they're just up past the bottom ring and just bushing right out and it rained like cats and dogs during our storm you know God bless all the poor people down in Arkansas that got hit so bad 
and we lucked out because when the tornadoes came up through Tennessee everything started to lighten up and some of it went south of Nashville and some of it went north but nothing hit us and I just always say is thank the Lord we didn't get hammered and we got tons of rain and I noticed this little tub here that Sheila found with the little wheels on it we planted those three in it didn't have an overflow hole so I come out here and it was level full so I grabbed my drill bit and spun up a couple overflow holes and then she went back down to about two and a half inches but now that it's sunny you watch these tubs just suck that water because it's going to be growing like crazy and my uh, my deck boat back here it survived fine the water stayed pumping out of there and man it's just a spectacular day today I mean could not be nicer I also got to show you this here this is a Engel live bait cooler Engel coolers they make a they make dry boxes as well but this is a, a, a 30 quart uh, for minnows and it's really slick because it's got a mouse quiet little pump on the side here and then uh, it's got a seal all the way around the seal on it and I put minnows in there and take them out of my deck boat and fish but because it's so big I thought you know me go big you know I bought the 30 quart they make a 13 and a 19 I believe angle they make the same box in a dry box but get the bait cooler because if you want to you can just pull this out and then this little plug goes in that hole in the side and it becomes a dry cooler anyway so they converted their little dry coolers to nice minnow buckets and I've got a I got a 13 quart sitting in the house that I just bought and I'm tickled with the size of it for crappie fishing it'll keep my minnows doing good let's see how they're doing in here yeah they're swimming around I got a Ooh, there's a bluegill in the corner I got him yesterday I forgot I gotta catch a few more and clean them up got a few little croaked minnows on the top but the rest of the minis are doing good I'll have to fish them out of there but it's just a spectacular day you wait all winter long to get into this oh man what do we got down here are we talking baby maters hiding under here ready look at them I never even spotted them little baby tomatoes are already popping out and I bet if I look around I got some more but I got to show that to Sheila when she gets home we already got some tomatoes starting awesome well this is Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee, sending this out to my brother Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota, who really created all this rain gutter grow system and his grow bags and these tubs and all that. Say hi to him online, Larry Hall, rain gutter grow system. You can't miss him. And we'll give you an update as we get a little closer to some more success here. Steve Hall in Nashville saying, have a beautiful sunny day, and we'll talk to you later.